Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a close look at the Vivo PCX. A small form factor PC that's just as home in the living room as it would be in a home office. And even though it's incredibly compact at just 5 liters, it's still a potent gaming machine that's Oculus ready. On the inside, it's got an Intel Core i5-7300HQ, 8GB of DDR4 memory at 2400 MHz, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, a 1 terabyte SATA 2.5 inch HDD, and of course 802.11ac Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. On the rear I.O. it has all the ports you'd expect to find. On the bottom we've got the power connection, then two HDMI ports and a single display port. Above that we have the analog audio connections, gigabit LAN and two USB 2.0 ports, and on top we've got four USB 3.0 ports, which you'll need for room scale VR. And one thing I really like about the Vivo PCX is the design. You can use it both vertically and horizontally, which is great if you're going to use it as a home theater PC. It's also extremely light at less than 5 pounds. And I think it would make a great PC to take to LAN events, or just a great way to take your VR setup over to a friend's house. Now I know what you're thinking. It's beautiful, it's small, it's light. It's almost the perfect PC. But how does it perform in the real world? Well, I'm going to show you. I just got my Oculus Touch and uh, Rift set up in the mail. So I'm going to download a few games on here and show you guys exactly what kind of performance you can expect. All right, we are in game and uh, we are playing VR Sports Challenge, as you can see there. And this has a bunch of mini games here. We've got hockey, uh, football, basketball, and some other mini games. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with football. Alrighty, so in this mini game, you play the quarterback, and the object is to make passes and score touchdowns, basically. We are in a big stadium. You see the sky up there. It's a nice sunny day, and uh, it's actually really cool. So squeeze trigger to continue. All right, so it's, this is a two-minute drill. Um, first and 10 looks like we're on the 36-yard uh, line. So let's go ahead and pick a play down here. Let's do that. All right. I'm going to go to 83 over there. Hopefully the defense didn't see me pointing. There we go. Oh, he's coming over. Oh. There we go. And then you catch it too. Boom. All right, first down. Now you can see in the upper right-hand corner, I've got the FPS counter there. So um, it should be running at a constant 90 FPS. And that's what you really need to get a good, solid VR experience. So we're going to keep an eye on that during this next play. Um, let's do that. There we go. Great pass. There we go. Perfect pass. Get there. Get there. First down. First down. There we go. All right, so the next game we're going to play is called Unspoken. This is how it starts in a uh, city street. It's a 1v1 uh, fighting game. It's, it's really interesting. So why don't you guys just... Hold on a sec, I'll get a match going, I can show you what it's all about. And again, in the upper right hand corner, we've got the uh, FPS counter, so you should be able to get a good reading on what kind of performance you can get. All right, so you start in your apartment here, and uh, there's different things you can, you can go explore, you know. Um, but uh, you actually get real mail here. Like this is a uh, ad for an actual unspoken tournament uh, it's happening in Microsoft stores um, on May 13th of uh, this year. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, if you go upstairs, you can say hello to yourself in the mirror or check out some of your, some of your things here. That's kind of cool. Um, but like I said, this is a fighting game, so we want to fight. So let's go over to the map table and let's battle. Now, I'm not good at this game at all. But I'm going to go battle online with some random person, and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Found a match here. Oh, oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got that the left hand is shield, and the right hand is mostly attack. And you can teleport between these pedestals. This game will definitely take some practice to get good at, but at least the gameplay is smooth and we're still running at 90 FPS. Oh, I got a hammer. Oh, crap. 
Oh, dang it. All right, so one more game I want to show you is called Super Hot. And it's like a first-person shooter puzzle game. And so you've got to try to kill the bad guys with whatever weapons you have available. And one of the cool things is, is however fast you move is how fast they move. So if you stand still, time stands still. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So you start by grabbing this. This guy's coming at me. Throw that knife at him. Punch him. Grab his knife. And throw that at him. There we go. Cool. And I got that. And you can grab this and move on to the next level. So this level is really hard. I haven't gotten past this yet. But you can use things like uh, frying pans as shields. You kneel down. And see, you got a bullet time effect going, right? So I killed that guy. Let's grab one of these guns under here. Oh, there's a bullet coming at me. Got him. Oh, bullets. Oh, they shot me. Okay. And you can also play regular games as well. And here I've got one of my favorite games, Project Cars. I'm running at 1080p on high settings. And as you can see, I'm running at about 100 FPS. So definitely some impressive results for both VR and non-VR games from such a small and lightweight PC. Now if you want to dive a little deeper into the performance of the Vivo PCX, go ahead and click on the link to the Edge Up article in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.